The investigation of a body discovered in a heavily wooded area continues as the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension and other agencies work to determine how a Brainerd man died. Sarah Winkleman has more from the scene. A search crew set out yesterday to look for John Greenwald, a 29-year-old Brainerd man. The search resulted in discovering a body located in a wooded area about 150 feet off of Hattie Street in Brainerd. 3.30 or 4 o'clock law enforcement um, did a ground search um, with numerous officers from the Brainerd Police Department and during that time, uh, during the ground search, the Brainerd Police officers had located um, the, uh, the unidentified body. Initial indications lead officials to believe that this is the man they were looking for, but no formal identification has been performed. Officials are currently processing the crime scene just off the 300 block of Hattie Street. Now, once that investigation is complete, the body will be sent to the Ramsey Medical Examiner for identification and cause of death. John often came to this area, but the question if foul play was involved is yet to be determined. This time we, we just don't know. We're continuing to work with the, the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension um, and still processing the crime scene. It's still a very active crime scene. The Enns family lives right next door to the scene, and all Jamie Enns can think about while watching the investigation unfold are her four kids. I kept thinking, man, if one of us had, you know, been out there with the kids, and we had seen that body, you know, how would they have reacted, you know, with this, how upsetting would it have been for these boys? I have no idea. As scenarios played out in her head, nothing compared to the reality of losing a child. I was here when the family was over here and seeing the mom just in grief and tears, you know, there's this sense of, I'm glad they finally have answers, but my heart just broke for them. More answers for the family will begin to arise over the next several days as the investigation continues. Reporting in Brainerd, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. Anyone with information about the investigation can contact the Brainerd Police Department. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.